Okay, so one other thing I wanted to talk about today was um, this thing called the commit function. I've been referencing CPU optimization a lot because, guys, you're going to experience your computer slowing down or, like, potentially crashing if you have, like, too many plugins or whatever. So we just always want to be optimizing. And as you can see, like my, my stuff's pretty fast. I'm running off of a laptop, guys. One thing I will do when I know like, okay, all of my plugins here, I'm committing to them. A better example might be the lead to track. Like I know that I'm happy with the way this sounds with this auto tune on, right? But I want to free up some CPU energy <laughs> and I'm going to commit to this and I'm gonna process it in place so that I no longer need to be using the auto-tune. So the way I would do that um, is to make sure to select just the track I wanna commit and I will hold control or you would do right click to click on this and you see this commit option is right here. I'll hit that um, and I, you can commit the entire track or you can commit just a section. I basically just always do the entire track. Um, sure, you can consolidate my clips. Um, that basically just makes them all one big waveform instead of seeing all the cuts, um, as you will see. And then this section is what do you want it to do with the unused track? Because it basically creates a brand new track with the new committed wave. What I do is hide and make it an active um, I'm just going to change this, though, to make an active, just so you can see how it creates a whole, like, second track. So hit OK. It's going to process it, rendering. Um, cool. I actually uh, rendered this while the volume knob was way low, so it actually uh, committed it at such a low volume. I kind of don't want that, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this over. I'm actually gonna control click this and I'm gonna delete it. It's gonna yell at me and say, wait, you don't wanna throw away audio. And I'm gonna say, yeah, go for it. Um, so this might have been hidden over here, but since I just made it inactive and not hidden, it's right here. So I'm gonna control click this and <laughs> make it active again. And there it is. So I can retrieve anything if I change my mind later. It's it's kind of like uh, being able to get divorced. You can actually change your mind after you've committed. <laughs> so unless you hit the delete button. So I'm going to change my volume up to regular and then commit it. And I'm going to – so see, uh, do nothing is an option, and then you'll just have two audio files um, like on two tracks. You never really want two audio files playing together because then you'll, uh, I'll show you what it sounds like. Um, it will cause phasing issues. Uh, some people do this thinking it will like thicken their sound and like be good for the mix. It actually does not help your mix. It just um, doubles two audio waves, making it louder and then fighting for exact the exact same space. So it's going to cause this phasing sound. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm committing this track. It's going to make a new one. So um, uh, the auto-tune is printed on this, and I no longer need the auto-tune plugin on. But uh, since I said do nothing, this one is still here. Um, and if I play them together, you're going to hear what phasing sounds like. You don't take over my mind like I thought that you might. <laughs> it's kind of a neat effect. Um, phasers are actually, like, <laughs> real effects but um that's not helping like thicken the sound like like you would think um you're gonna want to actually sing doubles of your lead so now that i've committed that i'm gonna go ahead and hide and make this one inactive because i don't need it anymore and i just totally oops i totally just freed up some cpu power for my computer and if you want to go as far as committing all your background vocals as well you're done with all your editing, you're, you're just ready, you're in mixing phase, and your computer is acting a little slow, uh, you can go ahead and commit all of them 
I'm going to change this to hide and make an inactive once it's done committing. And the auto tunes didn't just disappear, it actually made new tracks and then it hid the other ones. So you see how they're italicized right here? Um, that means they're hidden. So that's the commit function. But let me show you this commit function only became available in, I think, Pro Tools 11 and higher. So if you do not actually see the commit function, that means you're running an older version of Pro Tools probably, right? You can do the same thing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show all my tracks again. And uh, I'm going to reactivate this guy. And I'm going to show you the very uh, extensive manual way of doing this. And I used to do it because I was my computer was crashing, so I had to. This is going to be something that we do with busing and making, making a new track to send it to. So we're going to... Basically, our goal is to commit this or print it, but what I'm really going to do is I'm basically going to record this to another track. So first, I need to make another track. So Shift, Apple, N, New, Audio Track. So I'm just going to name this Print. Lead to what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the output to bus it somewhere else. Right now it's busing our lead uh, auxiliary, but I'm gonna send it somewhere else and I'm just gonna scroll down and pick uh, something in the 30s. How about like, this is mono, so just 31. So I'm gonna send it out, bus 31. And then my printed track, I'm gonna assign its input to bus 31. So I'm saying you're gonna leave here and you're gonna go over here. Um, and then I'm going to record the audio from this to this. Oh, that was one strike and I'm gone. You don't take over my mind like I thought that you might. I guess I'm alright. So I get that's enough. <laughs> you get the point. Um, so now I've printed this here. Um, however, my output is just one and two. I want to make sure that I change that to bus one and two. Um, so I'm sending it to the lead auxiliary because that's where I want it. To. You don't take over my mind. So basically, I just recorded this and anything that was on it. I could even have recorded any automation. Um, anything that was going on on this track is now recorded to this track. So I can go ahead and how to make it inactive, and this is gonna have the auto tune printed into it. You don't take over my mind like Sounds great. So that would be the manual way to do commit functioning.